Martin and I have just come back from our dailies hours exercise and Martin? Martin? Hello, Martin. How are you? You're good? You went on your walk as well? Good. You went that way, did you? Fantastic. And what have you got here, Martin? You've got your, your list of all the animals that you sit on your walk. So we've got a seagull, we've got a swallow, we've got a robin, we've got a sparrow, and a velociraptor. Yes, I am aware of the current research and theory that uh, uh, dinosaurs did evolve into birds. Thank you, Sir Martin. However, are you really saying that on your nature walk today you saw a velociraptor? You are. Fair enough. So what are we going to do with all this information that we've got? You thought we'd do another STEM challenge. Wow. Tell me all about it. Here we have examples of what you can build. Here we have a Lego seagull. Here we have a common house sparrow. Here you can see we have a little robin complete with his red breast. Here, if you're looking high up in the skies, you may see swallows and swifts with their pointy tails. And here we've got a selection, including a rather special little character. So don't forget, if you go out for your dailies hours exercise, mix it up a bit, turn it into something else. You can go out and go for a nature walk. And then when you come back home, you can build out of your Lego bricks, all of the different animals and birds that you've seen. You could see all sorts out there. So let your imagination go wild with what you have seen and how you create it. Hi, Martin. Do you like my bird? I'll take that as a no then. You don't like it? Well, very good. Well, it's okay, Martin. It's, actually, it's my representation of what I saw on my walk. And what did I see? This wonderful creature is a little brown duck that I saw flying. You got something a bit cooler than that. Yeah, I bet you have. You're going to go and get it. Hmm. Seriously, this is what you saw in your walk.